Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm actually going to be doing a Blu-ray and DVD collection update, but it's going to be exclusively Criterion titles. And I had several Criterions that I picked up within the last month, so I figured why not just make a video that's just Criterions because that's really what that's probably the mo the thing that I like to collect the most more than steelbooks and digibooks because I just really like the quality and effort that goes into every title that's released by Criterion and I'd really just like to build up my collection and eventually maybe my goal is to eventually maybe own every Criterion title I don't know if that will ever happen some of them are extremely rare and expensive and they're constantly coming out with new ones and I it's kinda hard to keep up with them but maybe someday I'll be able to own all of them but right now I have you know kind of a small size collection I think um, maybe counting these maybe around a hundred um, there are also some that I haven't watched yet so I can't show them in an update but let's just get started with this um, update and I have six yeah six titles today to show you so here's the first one this is one of the most recent releases that they put out it's an Alfred Hitchcock film which looks amazing on blu-ray I'm so happy that Criterion took the reins with this film and was able to just you know transfer it into perfect HD quality with some amazing special features it's the man who knew too much and uh, this is a 1934 film and actually Alfred Hitchcock um, remade he remade this film um, with Jimmy Stewart and that film was very good as well And he actually said that that was his favorite film that he ever made so that's saying a lot I actually like both of these I'm not sure which one I like more maybe the Jimmy Stewart version but I definitely really like this one as well it's about a couple who they kind of catch wind of this assassination plot against this politician and the people who are plotting to do this decide to kidnap the couple's um, child to keep them quiet and they basically hold her for ransom and say you know we're gonna keep her until after this assassination happens so that you can't you know you can't do anything to stop us or else we'll kill your kid so that's basically the premise of the story very good I highly recommend this okay the next title I picked up here was actually just a blind buy I saw that it was on sale for $14.99 on Amazon and I was like, wow, a Blu-ray Criterion that's only $14.99, that's a good deal. I'll just take a chance on it. And I bought it and I actually really, really enjoyed it. It's The Organizer. This is an Italian film about workers in, um, it's back in the late 1800s and they worked in a factory. The conditions in the factory were very poor, hard work, long days, and I'm talking long, long days. I think they're like 14 or 15 hour work days, which is insane. And it's about uh, this guy. This guy comes in and helps them to organize to fight against the management of the company and kind of to form a union. And um, this is something that I kind of it kind of strikes a chord with me because I, I actually am a union factory worker, and um, I I see all of the good things that both the company and the union does for us. And there are also negative things um, about both sides, and I, I fully acknowledge that. And this this movie kind of highlights a lot of those things. And I really enjoyed this. It's a film made in 1963. It's filmed in black and white and it looks amazing in HD. Great story. Um, I totally forgot that I was reading subtitles because uh, it is in Italian with English subtitles. But um, usually with foreign films at the beginning you're kind of like it's kind of hard but after like five minutes especially if it's a really good story you totally forget about it and it's just like an, a regular movie. So yeah really recommend this and I love the artwork on it. There's even more on this insert right here really like this very very good stuff highly recommend it okay the next film I have here is the island of lost souls which is based on a HG Wells uh, novel which I really like the island of Dr. Morneau and it's about a mad scientist who is trying to improve the human race by combining humans and animals and so he has this island with all these crazy creatures and it's just a great movie it's from the 1930s yeah 1932 uh, I really love this movie. I like the artwork on this set a lot. I really love the internal artwork, the disc artwork. Uh, Criterion just does such a great job with all of their releases. I definitely highly recommend this one. Um, I, I hadn't seen it before now and I'm really happy that I own it and I own it in such high quality edition. Okay, the next film I have here is The Curious Case of Benjamin Button starring Brad Pitt and Kate Blanchett. And I actually really enjoy this film and I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Ryan Chataway. I know I actually, I told you a while ago that I had an extra copy of this and I told you I was going to send it to you. I still have it and I am definitely going to send it to you. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long. So just look, look out for that. It should be in the mail soon. But this is actually the only Blu-ray that I've ever seen from Criterion that comes in a blue 
case. Usually they come in the clear cases. I prefer the clear cases, but I'm okay with this. I'm glad that I was able to get one with the slip cover. Um, the slip cover that I found was actually a bit dinged up. Normally I wouldn't keep this in my collection, but with the Criterion collection, they're kind of, they kind of have this feel of like, they're kind of almost like old classic books and having it kind of rugged like this, I actually like it. I think it kind of fits in with the style of the collection. So th this movie, if you don't know what it's about, it's about a man who is born and he look he's like an old man and he ages in reverse. He goes from being old to being young throughout his, the course of his life. And this movie just shows everything that he went and experienced. Really great film. It was nominated for a bunch of Academy Awards. Uh, I thought all of the cast in this was really great. I highly recommend it. Okay, the next film I have here is a classic film, A Night to Remember. Um, it's from 1958, and this is about the sinking of the Titanic, and a very good film about the Titanic that doesn't have all of the um, fictionalized stories that most of the other Titanic movies have. Um, for me personally, I know a lot of people love the Titanic film with uh, the James Cameron version with Leonardo DiCaprio. I personally, I personally don't care very much for it. I, I do own it, um, but it's, I, I think it's very overrated. I think it's a good film, but I really think it's overrated, and I, I just don't like it that much. But enough about that. This film is very good, and it looks amazing in HD. I actually picked this up the day that it came out, but I, I, never, I never took the time to watch it until now, and I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend this. Okay, and the last film that I have here in this update, it's actually a DVD. And this is uh, The Vanishing. And this film is, um, the language is Dutch. They speak Dutch and French. And I'm not sure which country uh, the film actually origin originated from. I didn't really research it a lot, but it was a really great story. I, I watched it with the English subtitles and um, I really liked it. It's about a man and uh, his girlfriend. They were out traveling on this little road trip vacation type thing. And his wife ends up disappearing and he he thinks that she's abducted and the story is very interesting it's mo like the main character of the story is actually the person the abductor and um how he's kind of it just shows like how he's living a double life and all these interesting things about it i thought the actors were really cool in this and the story was very well done i really like this movie and um i forgot to show you guys i know people who collect um criterion they like to know the spine numbers on these so this one is 133 this one is number seven. Uh, Benjamin Button is number 476. Uh, Island of Lost Souls is number 586. The Organizer is 610. And The Man Who Knew Too Much is 643. So that's it for this Criterion Collection update. I hope you all enjoyed it and thanks for watching.